47. <clears throat> Good afternoon, Mayor, City Council. I'm Rudy Bensoncourt, Director of Housing and Community Development. Uh, this is a good good news briefing item and is a second follow-up to the November 7th briefing, which provided a strategy update for two of the four recommendations by the Advisory Council on homelessness, mental health, and substance abuse. This presentation will provide a status update on recommendation number one, coordinated entry, and recommendation number four, the family re reunification program. It will also provide a strategy update on recommendation number two, uh, the homeless work program, and recommendation number three, tiny homes. Uh, before I jump in, the city has reached out to several agents and agencies in the community to become an entry point. Uh, the same issues were, have been seen across the board, which, which are staff shortages, limited office space, and overall capacity issues. Therefore, the Salvation Army will be the only entry point which will allow the community to be in compliance of the January deadline that has been established by by the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development in order to have uh, a an entry point in the community. Uh, therefore, uh, the Salvation Army will be the refer referral source for all social service agencies in the community. So all social service agencies will refer to, uh, to the Salvation Army as the entry point for coordinated entry. The components to be followed are our, all households will receive a housing crisis mini assessment Eligible households will receive a full assessment and meet with a caseworker. A universal assessment tool will be used by a variety of agencies with households entering their agencies seeking emergency shelter or homeless prevention. The target groups for this are households that are seeking emergency shelter, households at imminent risk of losing their nighttime residence, and households that have been homeless for less than six months. The next steps are to finalize the documents needed to begin the program and implement the program. A status update for recommendation number four, which is the Family Reunification Program. The Salvation Army, as reported last month, will be the ser service agency undertaking this activity. Therefore, they will also be the referral source for the variety of social service agencies in the community. Uh, the Salvation Army already has a shelter diversion program. The shelter diversion program prevents, homeless, prevents homelessness for people seeking emergency shelter by identifying immediate housing and shelter arrangements, connecting people with services and financial assistance, and with the ultimate goal of returning the, 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 the person or family back into permanent housing. As this is a true uh, pilot program, the measure will be the families entering the diversion program and those reunited outside Corpus Christi. The next steps are also to finalize the documents and begin to implement the program. The next two slides are strategy updates for the remaining two recommendations. Recommendation number two was a homeless work program. The Advisory Council has established a subcommittee headed by Mark Hendricks from the Behavioral Health Center. They have begun conducting research of statewide and nationwide programs. Also worth mentioning is that city staff, along with Mr. Hendricks, uh, visited last week the, the Salvation Army, uh, I'm sorry, the Good Samaritan Rescue Mission. They have a labor force program. The labor force, force program was established in the late 70s. The Good Samaritan contracts with local and regional companies for day labor. In essence, they run sort of like a temp agency model. Uh, the employees get paid on a daily basis. The Good Samaritan takes full liability, which are workman's compensation, transportation, and drug testing. Uh, the employee has the opportunity to get hired as a full-time employee. Therefore, that's when they transfer out of the labor force program into more of a permanent job. It is exclusive to residents of Good Samaritan, which lends itself to the success of the program and employee, as employees are already there and available to work that morning. The labor program is where the, the clients gain confidence to transfer out to a higher paying personal job and keep the responsibility where they typically move out of the shelter and, into, and remain in the campus for a private room for a small weekly free fee. If for some reason something happens with a personal job, they can move back into the labor program and start the whole cycle all over again. Uh, 
Uh, the next steps for this program are to continue to research the, the different variety of programs, identify a nonprofit operator, identify funding resources, and research a framework, a framework and program agreements. And finally, the strategy, strategy update for number three, Tiny Homes. The Advisory Council has also established a subcommittee headed by Paulette uh, Kluge. Uh, they're continuing to research programs statewide and nationwide. Uh, Ms. Kluge has already received a commitment from Skills USA, which is a competition that comes to Corpus Christi annually. They'll be here in April the 5th through the 8th. Uh, they have committed to build as a competition for their students approximately 13 tiny homes, as well as eight to 10 picnic tables. The next steps for this committee are to visit the Community First Village in Austin, and hopefully that can be done in December. Uh, in regards to next month, they're looking to visit the, the, the complex in, in Lubbock, Texas. Uh, also to identify some land within the city and create an MOU or agreement with Skills USA and also identify a nonprofit operator. The overall next steps are re to return to city council in February of 2018. This will provide a status up update on one and four, as well as continue the strategy update on two and three. Hopefully at that time, we'll have some renderings of the tiny homes to be built. And I stand by for any questions. Any questions on these? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, we are to return in, fe in February. That gives us January to make more movement with, uh, with all four committees. Oh, yeah, right, I apologize for that. Um, my, my correction uh, was in February. So we w I will return in February with a status update and a strategy update for all four. Um, hopefully that gives us the remainder of January and February to make some more movement um, and be able to come back in February uh, to give you a an update. All right. 